Aaron? Yeah. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the power of our shield, may our shine. Who you think will be near in the court, God and Christ? Because whether you realize it or not, when you were on the slave ship, you used to be Hebrew. The white man brought you here, he taught you his language, okay, and you forgot your own language. That's why you're now calling it. Now, your last name is of his, he's a slave master. You had an original Hebrew name. So that's what I'm out here bringing out the truth. So I'll say all praises to you, Abba Shimei, I'll say double honors to the apostles. And salutations to the elect of Israel on the highways and byways around the globe, bringing out this word and sincerity the truth. Once again, Brother Lakama, out in Jamaica, this time in um, Montego Bay, trying to wake up our people. But let me say this, not everybody's going to understand this. To some people, they're going to reject it. Some people are going to say, I'm not an Israelite, I'm just a normal black man. Like, for instance, if I ask you what, what your nationality was, right, Jamaica means land of wooden water. Africa was named, Africa was named after a white man. So when you say you're African, you're naming yourself after a white man. Before Africa had that name, Kemet, well, that means that you come out of, if you're saying you're committing, yeah? Right, if you if you if, if you're a, if you come out of if you if you say you're committed and you come out of uh, Ham, you're right, you're not you're, you're one of these people. One of these people. You should be eating gorilla <coughs> and drinking blood. But I know you don't eat gorilla and I know you don't eat blood, so you're not a committed leader, but well, don't worry, you're not on the table. You're not on the table. Maybe the vocals on there, but not you but not your face. You understand? You know that's a run from the camera. Yeah. Uh, that's this is this this sign is really for the um, Rasta man they want to come up here and sell their Africans. But the Africans were the ones that sold us to the white man. Yeah. When they, 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 they say that um they say that we sold each other, that I would sell you to the white man. We had a bunch of people in Africa that looked dark like us that were selling us to the white man. The problem is, you Israelites, you black people in this country, what do you say about them? You call them animals or something? I call them inferior, I call you slaves, we turn you into slaves, and when we didn't need you no more, we kick you out of Israel, and I mean out of Egypt, but out of Africa, we sold you to America, and that's where we want you to stay, and we don't want you back in Africa again. <laughs> now, you black people in this country, it's time for you to wake up and realize that this thick shit, this thing, this thing, doo doo eating African does not care about you, he's not your people, he hates you, and that's why he sold you out of Africa. Now, and you admit that, right? Huh? You're admitting that today we sold, that we, the you, white man is not a devil, we sold you to the white man. Right. You sold, if we had sold you to right our now, devil, you now, would not be alive now, today. Now, let's, now, let's get back to you. You did, you know, we don't want you to die yet. So we didn't you have to the chop, the head, chop our heads off and slave it all and sacrifice it to your God? We ate it. What do you mean, uh, sacrifice it? Say it again? We ate the goddamn heads when we chopped them off. We didn't um, sacrifice you. Oh, you we used to eat your assholes over there in Africa. Yeah. Before you, you forgot that we used to eat the men, men over there. We used Before to eat you sold us yeah. to us. And then when we got fed up of your flesh, it was no good anymore. So we thought it was unclean. We decided to sold into slavery to get rid of you. Uh, I'll get it out of the Bible. I know what I'm saying, so it's in the Bible, and it's written before it happens. And the most I know of the beginning of man from creation to when the sun comes back up onwards. So this Bible will tell you the whole history of us. So you just have to read it to find out. This is Joel, the third chapter. Joel, the third chapter. This is the prophecy of what would happen to us when we're in Africa. Right, if you say Judaism, yeah, that's what the time they saw the Jew rats for them. That they made up their own religion for Judaism. Yeah, we can't see evidence that it's fast one. We can't see evidence that it's fast one. What? Judaism? Judaism is a word that they made up for themselves. They call themselves Jews. So, 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 so
casa na ilha, lá no Pacífico e faz a minha ilha.
which these words we didn't really need to enter the ears of earth oldest lineage from Nimrod Kush and Ori they want our people to understand that the presence that were with us here today is the presence of earth all the sovereignty on earth the first to give love and govern in creation by constitution is Ethiopia's royal lineage and it continues from biblical times King David son of Jesse Solomon, son of David, a union with Queen Makeda, Sheba. The royal bloodline continues up to our time and to the presence of our divine majesty, Emperor Ayres Selassie I. The importance of this day and this era of time carries a chronology and a historical fulfillment with I and I as a people called Rastafari. Haile Selassie I's visit to Jamaica is not just by statical, but it's also a fulfillment of biblical chronology and historical fulfillment unto us as a people, fulfilling the true divine manifestation of Christ in this time and his people. Not a religion. Not a religion. Yeah. So that is the 
no more cash. No more cash is going to be in this society. We're going to put a chip in you, okay, chip in you, and you won't be able to buy no food in the shop unless you've got the chip. Yeah? Because they're trying to accept prophecy. You're supposed to be ruling the planet next, and they know that you're going to be ruling next, so their job is to destroy you. They create AIDS to destroy you. Yeah, they create AIDS in a, they create AIDS in a, in a laboratory to destroy you. Like uh, Ebola, they created that in a laboratory, brought it to West Africa, gave it to the Red Cross, but they injected in the people there, saying that it was polio or something like that. So they gave, like, CP, they created that in a laboratory and put it in mosquitoes, and they've got mosquitoes fly around giving people. Okay? So they're trying to get rid of you, but according to the Bible, they will never be able to get rid of you. According to the Bible, they would have to get rid of the stars and the moon and the sun before the whole side is really. And they'd have to be going to the bottom of the earth, to the bottom before the whole side is really. Yeah, we'll break down this side. Do you need any of this rubbish? Let me try to say something to you, yeah? I'm, I, I, I'm not out here teaching to all okay? You might see that. You have it in your mind that you, like, you might know this, but not everybody knows it. So try and take it like you're in a class where you might know the answer, but other people don't. Okay? Go on, brother. But I'm going to read it to you out of the Bible. This is in Leviticus 11 and 1. It says, And the Lord, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, saying to them, Speak unto the children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? Who are the children of Israel? By the way, when you see the word children of Israel in the Bible, the word there for children is sons. Do you know what that means? Anyway, speak unto the children of Israel, which is the men, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth, whatsoever part of the hook and is over the hook, and truth to cut amongst the beasts that shall ye eat. I don't know, verse 7. And the swine, which is the pig, though he divides the hook and be cloven for it, he truth not the cut, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. So you can't even touch them. Okay? Well, let me read something else to you out of the Bible. This is Deuteronomy 14 and 21. I mean, I mean, I mean, the, the scientists have already said that if you eat pork, you're going to get cancer. Yep. This is Deuteronomy 14 and 21. It says, "Ye shall not eat anything that dieth by itself. So if you wake up one morning and you're, and, and, and you're cold dead, you're not supposed to eat your cold. Uh, you don't know what well, makes the cold dead, so you're not supposed to eat it, right? It says, "Ye shall not eat anything that dieth of itself. Thou shalt give it unto the stranger that is in thy gate, that he may eat it, or thou may sell it unto an alien. For thou art the holy people unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not see a fear in his mother's milk. So there's, there's, in the Bible it says that if an animal dies by itself, you can't eat it, but you can sell it to the Indian man. Or you can sell it to the Chinese. God is racist. You didn't know that. Let me just try and show you again. If an animal dies by itself, you Israelites can't eat it, but you can give it to another nation to eat. Is that not racist? So it's a bad for you, it's also bad for them too. Like, God don't business about them. He only gives it about you. So that's a racist word. Okay? Let me show you another one. This is Deuteronomy 14 and 2. It says here. I'm going to start at 1. I'm going to start at 1. You are the children of the Lord, your God. The God of the Bible is the God of Israel. The God of everybody. Did you know that? Everybody says, what do you mean? Sorry? No. I'm going to show you, brother. I'm gonna go back to that. The Bible we have in there is coming from two days. No, no, no. Two days in two days in after the Bible. Uh, the Bible. Uh, I'm gonna prove you wrong. This is Joel. Uh, I'm gonna read to show you that God of the Bible is not the God of everybody. 
and try, try, try and remember this. So when you go to church and you and you make a statement, well, if you know someone that goes to church, yeah, make that statement to the pastor saying, I heard that the God of the Bible is not the God of everybody. And hear what he got to say. And then after he said what he said, read this to him and then hear what he got to say. Okay? This is Joel. Joel 2 and 27, yeah? Oh. Joel 2 and 27. You tell me if this is not uh, racist. He says here, and you shall know. Are you listening, brother? Did you say that God's, God's not racist? God is the God of everybody. That's what you say. Yeah? Joel 2 and 27. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. We want to show you that in the Bible. Joel 2 and 27 says, And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Who is Joel? Who is Joel? Who is Joel? Who is Joel? He's a prophet of the Lord. Who is Joel? He's a prophet of the Lord. That's what he said. No, no, it's clear. It's clear. Anybody with any sense? I'll read it again. Right, right. This is Joel. This is Joel 2 and 27 again. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. For the God of the Bible is God of Israel, nobody else. I'm going to read it again. This is Exodus. Exodus. No, no, no. Wrong. Chinese is your enemy, the Arabs are your enemy, the white man is your enemy. Okay? They know who you are, and they pay millions of pounds to buy your money. So the white man, the white man, first, they know. Exodus, Exodus 3 and 6. 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 The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And, and Moses did his face and his friend. So the Bible says, I'm the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Yes. Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob doesn't mean everybody. But not everybody comes out of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And it's in Exodus. I think again. Exodus 3 and 6. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. You want, another, you want another faith of these other nations around you. These other people, the Chinese and the Japanese and the Indians, all had you in slavery. And according to the Bible, when we go for Jesus Christ comes back, and that's not his name, by the way. His name is Yahweh Sai. When he comes back, he's going to put us back in power. And all the Arabs and the Indian and Chinese are going to be working for you. As it should be. Yeah? Then those Chinese and Japanese were great to be our slaves. And you're supposed to be kings, you women are supposed to be queens. And you men are supposed to be kings. And you're not supposed to be working. You're not supposed to be eating them rubbish food either. Because the oil that they use to cook them food is going to clog up their heart and you're going to die slow. You better off going on and cooking up our food. But then again, the white man has you decide the food that you buy in your shop to pay for food. Well, the only food that's going to be good for you is when we're ruling this kingdom. How long it take to raise chicken? Real chicken don't take six or eight weeks to raise. Yeah. Yeah. Them, them, them feed where you use to feed the chicken them is 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 genetically genet modified. That's why you can never chicken today and tomorrow and in a couple of hours it's still hungry. But there's no nutrients in it at all. Okay? And that's the way the mind set up for having the best food for our baby. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you're going to be dealing with? Yeah. Yeah. But, but most of what you eat in this shop is not real. Okay. But let me talk about some colour scriptures for you. Because you need to see some colour. And you see the young little girls here. And I'll show her something. This is Joshua Solomon. Joshua Solomon. Joshua Solomon. Joshua Solomon. 
of the wicked. This sign is more for the white man. So I know the white man walks up there today. This is what I was saying. Yeah? I was making aware that he is an Edomite. So Jacob had two sons. Jacob had two sons. Um, Isaac had two sons. Yeah? Esau and Jacob. Yeah? We come from Jacob. The white man comes from Esau. The Bible says it came out red. White, white and red. Okay? Yeah. They are our physical enemies. When you read in the book of Genesis that the, um, the, serp the serpent was more subtle, I'm going to read it out of Bible. This is going to be a heavy. So if white man not really, not really white. Red, red. What it is? white red. The white people come to Jamaica to get attacked so they can fit into the rest of the world. Because they want to be us, they want to be us. But they know in their spirit that there's, there's something wrong with them. You understand? The Indians get down, the Arabs get down, the white people get red. But anyway, this is the beginning of the so-called white man. This is Genesis 3 and 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast on the field. Which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. So when you read in the Bible about the serpent, it's not talking about a snake. When you read about the serpent, the serpent was another being that was in the garden of Eden. Yeah, so all, all them put here in the book, all them put here, you did a read one book and then say, I want to see it. So that the serpent and so I can to stick a blow, go and read, you know, so like you know what, real sleep. I want a snake and come to you. Who wants a snake and come to you? Wait! When it said that they're going to pull up on their bed here. When it said that they're going to pull up on their bed, this is when the white man was in the caves. Yes, but no nation lived in the caves like this. So when you read the curse about they shall pull up on their belly, I want to read it. He was talking about when they were in the um, Torcas' mountains, yeah, living like dogs. I see it. Yeah? And we were the ones that took them out of Torcas' mountains, brushed them up, cleaned them up, showed them how to walk, yeah, yeah. showed them how to walk properly, yeah. And then they overtook us in the end. It was basically it was our time to go down as people. But we used to rule Europe for a thousand years, and there was a I think it was the bubonic plague that killed us off. And that's where he been, that's where he started to rule Europe. Right, that we used to all the best. All the, all, all the top kings that you heard, like King John, the first, the second, the third, Henry the eighth, yeah, um, Robin Hood, Shakespeare, all those people. All so I did a I didn't have people kill out Marcus Garvey. Well, Marcus Garvey was uh, amazing. Yeah, he was doing the same thing that, you know, what was my movement? Yeah, he was a Freemason. Marcus Garvey was a Freemason. So, so, so it's highly pronounced that he's a Freemason. Obama's a Freemason. Everybody, all the policemen that you see in Jamaica are all Freemasons. They all have to take an oath. Yeah? When all hell breaks, they're going to come out here and start shooting people. When, they, when you're trying to rob the girl and shoot the walls because there's no food, they're going to have orders to shoot. Hey, Mr. Here. It's going to get really bad at you. Yes, that's the word. But this is Genesis 3 and 14. And the Lord said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle. So a serpent is not a cattle. So when he says, Thou shalt be cursed above all cattle, it's another way of saying that he's going to be cursed. Yeah? Uh, and above every street on the field. That's why the white man is the lowest person on the mountain. In the worst state than anybody else. We never, we never lived like this. When he, when, when he came to Africa, he said that we were swinging from the tree like monkeys. Yeah. 
Tap it. 